Hello viewers and welcome to more action on Dirt Rally. Well, we've seen another update today, plus the addition of Finland, which has been much anticipated by myself as well. Finnish Rally, always a classic, and racing here in the classic Subaru as well. And just generally seeing how I get on, you really do feel a difference in the different car handling, and of course using the new wheel rim as well, just always feels so authentic, doesn't it? So racing round, trying to go quickly, it's tricky though. It's getting hooked off the side there, but managing to keep it on. And uh, lots of stages to learn. So in terms of handling, I'm, I'm going nowhere near full speed here. I'm taking it pretty cleanly rather than pushing to the limit. Uh, looks great. Uh, I do have a few graphical issues that have crept into this build. Uh, that I'm getting stuttering frame rate, uh, which you might occasionally see on the video. I, I haven't been able to see it on the video so far, but I'm getting a... You know, like the frame rate runs at 60 frames and then you'll get a frame that's missing it sort of jerks occasionally and, and an issue which I had in grid 2 where you'd hear the sound as if a monitor being pulled out of the PC the whole game freezes for two seconds and then continues that's two little things I've had since the recent update but besides that obviously game, uh, the gameplay feels faster it feels more intense it feels more intuitive than it did when it was originally released the stages look fantastic the audio, as ever, is fantastic, and it's just turning into a great rally game. You know, it's, it really is coming together nicely, and it's great to see uh, the work from the developers, Paul Coleman, and the developers there in uh, really just keeping with it and building bit by bit. And what a great job they're doing. I mean, it is a busy time in terms of rally right now. With, you've got this game, got WRC 5, coming out in a couple of weeks. This already looks better than... WRC5 is ever going to look at this stage uh, and they're really doing a cracking job on old technology as well and I think in, in many ways you know, it looks better than F1 2015 as well and this is on the old eco engine just seeing those jerks in frame rate there I don't know if they'll come out on YouTube I don't know what's causing that I reduced my graphical settings to medium from high uh, and though the frame rate's locked at 60 it still gets these jerks in there which can be extremely off-putting uh, on some of these corners uh, but besides that, really nice to see, you know, they've captured the environments, the views, the feeling of travelling from one place to another. It's fast, it's intense, and I, I, you know, it's been good to see the improvement. I, I think Germany was a real step forward, and then of course we had the additions of the rally cross, which again were very intense. And as I come to the latter half of the stage... Just trying to keep my focus now because I'm aware that I just want to record a clean stage for a video without any sort of major, major crashes. They get nice and slow in the hairpins. Let's not knock about. Hairpins can be tricky and there's never a lot of time to be made in them. And overall, a nice addition. I'll be checking out the different stages, coming back on a bit more. Uh, dirt rally. I hope. Uh, I mean, I, I haven't checked yet on this particular build, but they've brought in the ability to remove the steering wheel, move your seats, and triple screen controls. But they're all the things I need before I can drive with the cockpit cam. Cockpit cam at the moment is you know, not, not how I'd like, so adjustments there are required. Um, so that's why I'm sticking with the bonnet cam in this particular game. By the way, as I've with old classic Codemasters titles, it runs well. As we come around the final few corners, that's it for this run on Dirt Rally, and there'll be more from me very soon.